Guys, Alexis here. Welcome to the Prayer Handbook and we are a praying ministry. You can go to theprayerhandbook.com. We have several prayers, prayer books, ebooks that are free to help you get through whatever you're going through. So before we get started, we're going to go ahead and start out in Thanksgiving. Make sure y'all pray along with me. Don't let me just pray by myself. Pray along. The Bible says, enter his gates with thanksgiving. Lord, we just thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for everything that you're doing in our lives. God, when we look at our life a year ago, we're not where we used to be, God. When we look at our life 10 years ago, we're not where we used to be, God. We just thank you that you have brought us out, God. We just thank you that the best is yet to come. God, we just thank you that you are protecting us, that you are keeping us, that you are leading us, that you are guiding us. Lord, we just thank you that you can hide us in your shelter, God, that we can be safe from our harm, God. We don't have to worry about any weak any warlock, any spell, any trial, any bill, any satanic attack, God, because you care for us. You watch over us. You protect us, God. We just thank you that you are God. We thank you that we are your children, and we thank you for your love and your protection in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, so now we're going to go into the repentance. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will heal the land. So God, we just repent, God. We return from our wicked ways. We turn, return from everything we've done that's not pleasing you. It's like, God, we repent, God. We ask you to forgive us for worrying, God. We ask you to forgive us for having little faith, God. Forgive us for everything we've done that's not pleasing you. It's like, God, we ask you to forgive us for not waiting well, God. We ask you to forgive us for looking at stuff in our natural eyes and not with our spiritual eyes, God. We ask you to forgive us for our sins, our iniquities, the things that we know are wrong that we continue to do, God. We know that you love us so much that as soon as we say and ask you for forgiveness, God, it's done, it's forgiven, God. So we pray that our heart is pure before you, God. Everything we present to you, God. It's acceptable unto you, God. You said in your word that our best is still 50 rays, but God, you still love us. Not because we're good, but because you're good. So it don't matter what we have done, but you still love us, God. We just repent for everything we've done that's not pleasing your sight. We repent for failing to answer the call. We repent for going when you say it don't go. Stand when you say move, God. We would just repent for being disobedient, Lord. Sometimes we want to have things our own way. God. Or misinterpreting what you say, Lord. We repent for that, God. We repent for trying to run ahead of you, God. We walk with you daily, God. We ask these things in Jesus' name. We pray, Lord. Amen, 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 amen. Like I said, our staple scripture for today is, my sheep know my voice. The Bible says that his sheep meaning us, his flock, know his voice. We're going to pray that God give you spiritual ears so that you can be able to hear him clearly because his desire is for us to be able to hear him. The reason why when Jesus came back, the Pharisees who were people that were in the church, they knew all the word, they knew all the word, they knew everything scripture, but God couldn't use him because they were using the scripture to Bible thump and not using the voice of the Lord. That's why the Lord can use you. He can use me and he can use everybody watching because we can hear his voice. So we're just going to pray that God activate our ears if we can't hear. It's not that he's not speaking. He, we just need to be able to tune our ears to his voice. So we're going to be praying this prayer that God activate our voice so that we can hear him clearly better to increase our ear sight and fill us with him. So come on in. Pray along with me. Again, pray along with me. Stand in agreement with me so that we can seal our prayer in the name of Jesus. God, we just thank you for everyone listening to this call. We just thank you for everyone listening to this video, everyone watching this video, God. We just declare that their ears are being activated. As I speak right now, God, you are opening up their ears. You are opening up their ears. You're curing them from spiritual deafness, God, where they can't hear your voice. We bind up the spirit of confusion where they're feeling like, is this you, God? Is this me? Is this my flesh? Is it my spirit? Is my soul? From today forward, they shall be able to know that this is the voice of the Lord. This is the voice of the Lord speaking to me. This is the voice of God. God, we pray that you just speak to them in dreams, speak to them in signs, speak to them on the road as they're driving, speak to them through their children, through their family, God, speak to them through the trees, through, as they walk, God, speak to them through clouds, God, speak to them in any way, let them be able to see you, God, you are the God, you are the creator, God, you created everything, you created the heavens, the earth, God, everything that we see before us, God, as I'm looking through this camera, God, you created it, everything you created, so God, let them be able to see you in everything, let them be able to see the creator, God, we just pray that their ears are being unclogged right now. 
right now in the name of Jesus that you are unclogging their ears. Anything that they are confused about, anything that they don't know where to move, where to go, what to do. Should I go back? Ooh, should I stay in this relationship? Should I move to another city? Should I do what I'm doing right now? Should I be working in this field? We just declare and decree that the peace of God, that the words of God, that everything that they need to hear is coming to them right now. We declare and decree that you are speaking to them right now and give them a sign, God. Give them a sign without a shadow in a doubt that they know it's you, God. Let them be able to know it's you. Increase their hunger for the word. Increase their yearning for the word. Let them crave binge watching your word, God. Let them be able to hear God, not just what the word says, but what you are saying, God, because scriptures is the beginning, God. When we read the scriptures, that's the beginning, God, but you want to speak to us daily. As we get in our car, you want to tell us, don't go down this road, go this way, this time. So, God, let them be able to be tuned to your ear, not be so caught up on how you spoke to them in the past that they can't receive how you're going to speak to them in the future. Take them to new levels. Take them to new heights, God. Take them to new journeys, God. Also, send the right people around them, God, to guide them, to help them, to help their spiritual development, to help their growth, God. Let everything you say be yes and amen in their soul and their spirit, and they be sold out for you, God. Anything that's trying to confuse them, anything that's trying to get them on track, God, let it be silenced in the name of Jesus. We declare this thing. We declare this thing. We say it is so in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you the praise and the glory and the honor for it is so in Jesus' name. Amen. So that's our prayer for today. From today forward, walk like you can hear. Talk like you can hear. God has done something. He has moved on your behalf. God has heard your cry. Prayer will not fall to the ground. Yet this is the beginning of God speaking to you in new ways. You're going to be walking outside and be like, is that you, God? Yes, that's him. He's going to be speaking to you in everything that you do. So we pray that you continue to walk with him, continue to be led by him, and continue to seek his face. All right, thank you all for watching, and let's continue to grow in God. Like this video, share it with somebody, and subscribe to my channel. Want to know more information about the prayer handbook? Go to www.theprayerhandbook.com, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.